happy you picked this dress, Veruca. You look beautiful. Doesn't she? <laughs> you guys, I'm getting married! I'm getting married! <laughs> not without your veil, you're not. Where's that bad boy? Oh, I think I left it upstairs. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'll get it. Sis. <laughs> She is so annoying oh. and so ugly. She oh. looks like Carl Malden. <laughs> I know, and she's gonna be my sister-in-law in an hour. Oh. Oh. How are you gonna deal with that? I'm just gonna lay down the law for Danny. We're seeing his goofy family as little as possible. <laughs> you sure he's gonna go along with that? <sighs> Danny doesn't say no to me. Believe me, I have him well trained. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what happened with Eric last night. <sighs> So I told him if he wanted to stop the wedding, he had to speak now or forever hold his peace. And what'd he say? He said he's never gonna settle down and I should just go ahead and marry Danny. Oh. Ah, did he give you a wedding present? Oh, I guess so, horny. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Shh, it's the last time, I swear. Yeah, right. Yeah, Danny sure. is so sweet and considerate and he's gonna be a cardiologist. So I'm marrying him. <laughs> and that zucchini in the middle of his face. Oh, <laughs> oh, disgusting. Oh, oh, close your eyes yeah. when he's on top. Yeah, yeah. And just eyes. <laughs> Cuz I'm so sorry. Yikes, that hurt. That was me, Danny Maccabee, 20 years ago. Pathetic, huh? <laughs> so I'm halfway done boozing away my sorrows when something pretty interesting happened. Oh. Baby, you're like a Pop-Tart, hot and sweet. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Mommy, you must play the trumpet or something because you're making me feel all horny and stuff. <laughs> you dropped your purse. Can I just sit for 10 seconds and not get hit on? Thank you. Just letting you know you dropped your purse. I'm sorry. That's I, fine, I that's thought. Fine. I'm sure you didn't meet the lady who gave you that ring in a meat market like this. School cafeteria. How long have you been married? I was gonna tell her I really was. But I didn't want her to know what a loser I was, so I stretched the truth a little. Six years. Where's your wife tonight? I stopped asking that question a long time ago. It's terrible. My wife says I work too much trying to provide for her, her shopping addiction, and crack. Why don't you just leave her? The children, all 14 of them, I just, I like to adopt. I don't want to stop doing that. Poor guy. You want to get out of here? And so I discovered the power of the wedding ring. The symbol of my humiliation had become a tool to get back on the horse. Are you kidding me? It's not for love again. I switched my specialty from cardiology to plastic surgery, got rid of the big hawker, and the ring became my thing. I just assumed after we got married, she'd stop hooking, but... You need to put this wedding van on a true heart. This is a good moment. Yeah. Should we go make it last? For a while somewhere. Okay, let's go to your dorm. Sometimes I think about throwing the ring into the ocean. I know how wrong it is, but I can't. It's my precious. Besides, being fake married is the perfect way to make sure I never get my heart broken again.